I came to understand why and how someone ends up deciding to become actively involved in an armed conflict. What's it like to be part of it? And how can one make the move towards peace? I will do that by bringing together people to sit at the same table. People who would have years ago fought against each other. Because I believe that by sitting the different voices of the same conflict around a table, we might be able to gain a better understanding of why it happened. And also, I hope this can help other regions in the world who are suffering or have suffered similar conflicts, such as the Basque Country. You suddenly begin to realize as you open your eyes that uh, heck, there's a heck of a lot more stories to be told in Northern Ireland or the North of Ireland than, than maybe I was told as a child. And for, for example, I knew nothing about Irish history. I could tell you all about the six wives of Henry VIII and the English Civil War. So, you know, we have to have these uncomfortable conversations and we have to talk to each other and empathize and hear the other person's stories because I certainly haven't got all the truth. And it's could, good could to I talk to folk. Can I comment on, yep. your, your, on, on yourself, yep. uh, Roger? Um, you see, you sound as if you're insulting people when you suggest that they haven't been told the full truth about their history. I mean, from a Republican perspective, and I don't mean an insult to Jackie or yourself here now, but uh, from our perspective, it's so obvious that we are a colonial situation. Yep. You know, if we were black or brown or whatever, it would be quite obvious that we were being ruled by a foreign country because Britain in the main and its government was a white ruler who did it in Africa, who did it in India, who did it in the Near East. But because we look very like the English, people can't, don't seem to accept that it is exactly the same situation. Do you ever think of that? Well, very good point. But I think in relation to us, I mean, certainly, I think our family were planted here from Scotland for stealing sheep about 1608 or something. So, and we feel that this is, I suppose, our country or our area to be in. I never looked upon it as a colony. I looked upon it as part of the United Kingdom. Having said that, at the moment, I am most comfortable with the phrase Northern Irish.